If you're looking for ways to get rid of fleas in your house, trust me, you landed on the right video. Because after the intro, right, and, and I'm going to hit you with the intro because I'm a YouTuber. That's what we do. We have intros. Um, but after the intro, I'm going to tell you the top five things you can do in your house right now to get rid of the fleas. And that does include that method you see everybody using with the water, the soap, the Dawn soap, and the light. So stay tuned. Here's the intro. I'm sorry guys, I know that's like super super YouTube-ish to actually have to drop an intro. Um, I know you're probably like, he could have skipped it, not probably could have, but guess what, I didn't. So anyway, here's the deal. Uh, we're going to talk about the top five ways, uh, that the top five things you can actually do right now to get rid of fleas, right? And I'm going to start with... Uh, my least favorite and I'm gonna go to and I'm gonna end with probably my favorite because it was to me most effective right I understand that fleas go through their cycles and that, but there's things that you can do to get rid of them so the first thing I'm gonna tell you that you need to do in your house right now to get rid of fleas is step number one make sure that you've got yourself a really nice vacuum because these bad boys like to hang out on the carpets especially if you got a carpet with a really thick pile if you got one of those carpets with a really thick pile, right, you're definitely going to have to vacuum at least twice a day. I know, nobody wants to vacuum twice a day, but hey, how bad do you want to get rid of these fleas? Step number two, I recommend vacuuming your couch. Believe it or not, just because you sat on here and haven't seen any fleas doesn't mean that there's no fleas here. I can almost guarantee you at some point you've touched your animal, those fleas have jumped on your clothing, and then they jumped on the couch. So when you vacuum the couch, make sure you vacuum all visible surfaces. And then also, don't forget to, I'm not gonna lift that because it might be dirty. And uh, I don't wanna be embarrassed on YouTube. Step number three is gonna be remove any clutter that you have around your house. Like all of the stuff right here, that shouldn't be. So I'm gonna be pulling all of that stuff out. Make it as open as possible. Don't give them any place to hide, trust me. Step number five should be pretty, uh, step number four actually, should be pretty obvious. But go ahead and wash your pet. There's many different shampoos you can use out there to help get rid of the fleas. And also, there's a lot of home remedies. If you don't want to put any chemicals on your pet, there's tons of other ways that you, there's tons of other things that you can do to avoid having to put harmful chemicals on your pet. I'm going to put a link in the description to the stuff that I use. It's all natural, and trust me, it works. I'll have these fleas running away from these animals. So the next step that I know you guys are wondering, does the uh, whole getting a bowl and putting the water in and soap stuff work? So here's what I did. I reached into the kid's drawer. I found one that I didn't mind getting rid of, right? I'm not gonna take any out because the actual bowl that I'm using is already here and has fleas in it. So let's get out of my cabinet, it's disorganized. And like I said, I don't wanna be, uh, you know, embarrassed on YouTube. So let's go to the bowl that I actually had, right? I'm not gonna show you the bowl yet. I'm not gonna show you the bowl, not yet. So just stay at the bowl for a second. Before I show you the bowl, what I wanna tell you what I did, right? I used some Dawn soap. I know that says hot, spicy, uh, Jim and Nick's barbecue, whatever. Listen, this is Dawn, this is Dawn soap, okay? Um, it's blue, I just regular, nothing special, Dawn soap. I mixed it with water. I put the water level in the bowl about up to here. We put this under a light and the heat from the light is supposed to attract the, the fleas, right? And I guess what happens is that they, they feel a heat, right? The heat probably shines down on the water, making the water hot, well warm, not hot. And it also just has general heat in the area. And trust me, if it's an old dark room, they're gonna go to heat because they think yeah, it might be an animal or something. So when they jump up to go hit the light, they're supposed to fall in the water. Now, a lot of people on YouTube say, oh, this doesn't work, this doesn't work. Listen, let me tell you something. You're gonna find out right now if it works. But wait, real quick, before I show you the results, I'm sorry, I didn't wanna keep hanging you on like that. You're probably on the edge of your seat, about to fall off. Don't fall, right? Because I don't wanna be responsible for anybody falling. Anyway, enough with the comedy. Or at least what I thought was comedy. Um, I got the soap, I put 
probably I would say about a teaspoon in it, right? In a bowl about that size, right? And notice I flashed that because I don't want you to see the results yet. Um, so I put a, a teaspoon of soap in it and I mixed it. You can use anything to mix it. You can use, use a knife, a fork, a spoon, whatever you have in your house, right? You use a spoon like this. You can use a spoon like this. Whatever you have, right? Use what you have. You can use your pinky for crying out loud. Um, there's a lot of other things you can use too. Anyway, so I mixed it real good. Got it kind of soapy. Put the cup under the light. I had the light aim down more and closer to the bowl. And finally, I am ready to show you the results. Keep in mind, after you see this part, right, there's still one last thing that I do, which is the most effective. But first, let's reveal this. So you can see if this method works. And here comes the big reveal. Boom, see, it does work. And guys, let me tell you something. I didn't make this video for visual effects or to try to be cool or to try to make you guys like me. That was not the whole point of this video. But, I'll tell you one thing. There's no way I could have faked this because I don't have extra fleas laying around, you know, to do this with. So, this definitely does work. And you guys have no clue, right? How exciting it is to see those fleas in a bowl. It's like payback, you know what I'm saying? It's like you guys were tearing the house up messing with the pets in the house. And now, we got you back. Like, yeah, this is how it's done. This is like a drive-by shooting. <laughs> Look at that. All right, so lastly, are you guys ready for me to show you the last and final tip that I recommend you use in your house to help get rid of these fleas? Are you ready? You ready? If you're ready, hit that thumbs up button, right? Hit the thumbs up button. I think I deserve it, right? I spent a lot of money trying to figure this thing out and I could have just been done with the fleas and went on my own business, you know, like took a walk in the sunlight or did whatever, you know, uh, but how's that saying go? I don't remember how it goes. Um, anyway, last and final tip that I recommend you do to help get rid of these fleas is right here. Just wait for it. Guys, let me tell you something. If I can say that anything worked the best in the house, I have to give it to this stuff right here. And here's why. If you look right there, it says, prevents flea infestations for up to seven months. Do you know how long the, the uh, a flea can last? A flea can last up to 100 days. So if this prevents flea infestations for up to seven months, you're in pretty good hands. I don't know how many days is in seven months, but I know it's more than uh, <laughs> I know it's more than 100 days, right? Um, it says kills fleas, flea eggs, flea larvae, and ticks. Treats broad areas such as carpets, upholstery, rugs, and hard to reach places such as baseboards and moldings. Kills fleas, ticks, and dust mites. So let me tell you something. I would literally get this stuff and spray it everywhere. Like I spray it down in the corners, anywhere that these bad boys can hide. And I sprayed it in the couch, on the couch, behind the couch, on the baseboards, sprayed it on the curtains because I noticed in certain areas they would hang out in the curtains. And a lot of areas that are just hard to reach, I resort to this. So let me tell you something. Everything else can just move out the way because this stuff right now, right here, hands down has been the best stuff ever and that's why i think it deserves the spotlight right matter of fact you know what let's turn this light a little bit brighter right we're at 10 percent this thing deserves like at least 30 percent look at that that bottle and all of its glory it should glow as the way it is glowing now i'm telling you get this stuff and solve your flea problems right i'm gonna put a link in the description for if you want to go uh purchase this on amazon but if you don't want to purchase it from Amazon, that's cool. Go to Lowe's or Home Depot. I'm pretty sure that they have it there. I got my bottle from Amazon because Amazon delivers quick, right? And um, if you do get it on Amazon, it also helps the channel out. But that's not my whole point in telling you this. This is not like some paid promotion. I'm not trying to make money off of 
black flag. But I just want to let you know what works. I've tried it, I've been there. And as I um, explore other techniques and options um, and other ways to get rid of the fleas, I'm gonna make videos and I'm gonna post it. I hope you enjoyed it. I tried not to be dry like all these other people and just say, here's the cup, here's the soap, mix it, and the fleas are gone. I try to have a little bit more personality, make it more entertaining and bearable to watch. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up, hit the like, hit the subscribe because I'll be posting more videos like this. And if you guys want me to go try well, I don't hope to have fleas in the house that long, but if they're still here and you guys have uh, other methods that you use that I didn't list, put it in the description to help everybody out. I mean, I want to know about it also, right? Um, oh, one thing that I, I did mention, uh, putting the coconut oil on them. So I do like a coconut and water mix, right? And I make the coconut oil sprayable and that's what we use on the pets. We don't just like, get a glob of coconut oil and put that on the pets. So. I don't think they'll like that much. Um, so anyway, like, subscribe. Hope you liked the video. And um, and like I said, uh, interact with me. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if the video sucked, I want to know about it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Disliked it, thumbs down. Either way, comment. Leave me some information. And hopefully you got something from this because that's why I made this video. This is Kev, Mr. Go Get It, World Traveling Entrepreneur. If you want to check out some of my other videos, they're there. I travel the world. And I'll be posting more content soon. And uh, that's it. I'm out. It's about 1 o'clock and I'm uh, starting to get tired. So I am out. Peace. Kev, Mr. Go Get It. Like, subscribe.